it's Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on a new week of videos. So last week uh, I had a few days off, it was Easter and, and here we had also had a public holiday in the middle of the week so uh, no one was really doing much but we're back into a new week and I thought I'd have a look at Dynamo in Civil 3D today. It came out with the 2020 release and to get into it uh, you go to the ribbon and under the manage tab in Civil 3D 2020 there's a visual um, programming section and we click on Dynamo and what that is going to do is launch Dynamo but something I found quite interesting was uh, I didn't look at any of the samples but when you click on new there's a new section here called AutoCAD so I thought that was a bit interesting just because it means that we could possibly now maybe um, tie in some AutoCAD elements in in AutoCAD uh, with or without Civil 3D I guess um, but it was just interesting to see that there are some uh, you know getting things like a block record um, details of the folder and name of the document, uh, block records, layers, uh, so current layers, uh, get any uh, current line types, uh, and then even getting the model space or paper space record. And there is even, even further things like importing blocks, getting the name of blocks. Um, but what I found interesting was, again, lines. So looks like we might be able to create lines, uh, mesh objects, uh, deleting setting layer colors, polylines. So again, there's a polyline by points, polyline for 3D. So it looks very similar. We still need points, layers, and then block, slicing, and even text as well. So I need to explore this a little bit more and, and do another video on this and see is it purely just AutoCAD or is it um, AutoCAD in relation to Civil 3D objects as well. So if you look under the AutoCAD section, there's a Civil 3D uh, section. So we've got alignments, uh, other Civil objects, corridors, assemblies, baselines, any feature lines. Uh, and even selecting items. So again, I just find it very interesting that, that all of that is in there. So um, if I just come in here and type in line as well. So there's another one just that's lined by a start and end point. So I'm gonna delete the rest and I'm just gonna have a quick look and see how that relates. So I'm gonna stick in some numbers for my start and end points. So we've got an XYZ number, XYZ, uh, and then chord. Um, so coordinates for geometry. Okay, and then I'll just zoom out the graph here a little bit. So if we start at 0, 0, 0, so we link up X, Y, Z, 0, 0, 0, and then we do the second one. So if I make that, uh, let's make it 50. You can see down here the point, so 50 in the X, 50 in the Y, and 50 in the Z. So we do a start and end point, and we do get a line there. So again, very interesting that we can possibly start doing a little bit more with Dynamo and just vanilla AutoCAD uh, as well as the Civil 3D. Now I did have a look at Dynamo in Advanced Steel. It doesn't have the AutoCAD libraries uh, in the Advanced Steel portion of it. So again, it just makes me wonder where the linking is between AutoCAD and Civil 3D. So, you know, do I treat this line as the basis for um, you know, I don't know, what would it be? Maybe an alignment? Or is it something else? So a baseline, a feature line, 
again, I'd have to have to have a look at that. So, yeah, so interesting for, for all you folks out there who are using Dynamo with um, Civil 3D. You might be able to get away with using it um, for AutoCAD. So thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. But please do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more videos. See you later.